Hey everybody, this is podcast 9.2 and we're going to start taking a look at the double helix of DNA. And what we learned in the first podcast and in class is that um, there was a lot of research that got put into the shape of DNA and the double helix is what ended up coming out of it. Um, and so this is a diagram of DNA, or one diagram of DNA, and so it's been untwisted and we're looking at a flat portion of it. And the first thing I want to point out is that there are these ends here, okay, there's a five prime end and a three prime end. And notice on the other side, it goes opposite. This is a, these are, um, oh, what's the word I want to say? These are anti-parallel is the term, where a three prime, I'll do this one in blue, okay, pairs up with a five prime and they run opposite directions of one another, and that's because the base pairs have a complement. And remember in the last podcast, we said A and T always pair together, and C and G always pair together as well. Uh, so you're always going to see C's and G's next to each other and A's and T's next to each other. And what we're going to do is we're going to highlight different portions of this because there are different components. So we're going to start with the deoxyribose, which is right here, this highlighted area. And a deoxyribose is simply a sugar. It's a sugar backbone. Okay, so the deoxyribose forms this the side part of this twisted ladder. The second portion is this phosphate, and they're the little circles uh, that you see on the outside over here, the little peas. And the phosphate, its job is to link the sugars. It links the deoxyribose. Without the phosphate here, the deoxyribose wouldn't be able to form this polymer on the outside. The next piece we need to look at is the base pair, and these are your A's, T's, C's, and G's. So they're in these middle portions here that are highlighted on your screen. And the base pairs, these are the rungs of the helix, or of the ladder. And remember, A, A, A always pairs with T, and C always pairs with G. And then the last piece of this is the nucleotide, and a nucleotide represents an entire combination of a deoxyribose, a phosphate, and a base pair. And so this would be the sugar phosphate base combination. And that's highlighted on your screen right now. So each of these, okay, the deoxyribose, the sugar, and the base, in red. So deoxyribose, the phosphate, and the base together form a nucleotide. Okay, so the deoxyribose again is this part here in the middle, the phosphate, and then this is a base. And so that's the first portion of the double helix. Okay, the second question is, all right, it, DNA is very, 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 very long. Okay, uh, so how do we fit DNA into these very tiny spaces? Well, I mean, if we were to unfold a newspaper piece by piece, it would probably cover a very, very large area. And DNA kind of works the same way. Uh, and what happens is this DNA will twist down on itself into very, very small things that we call chromosomes. And histones, okay, histone are special proteins. Histones are protein, proteins that the DNA wraps around to form chromosomes. So DNA is very, very long. Here's a helix. That twists upon itself. And a histone is this little sphere right here. And the DNA kind of coils around that. And as it coils, that continues to twist into this dark area that we call a chromosome. Um, and it would be the same thing as if you took like a strap on a bag. And what I'm going to try and get some of these in class. But you take it and you keep twisting, or a rubber band even would work. You keep twisting and twisting and twisting. What happens is it starts to condense down on itself. And it twists and twists and twists. And what we can do is we can just get it very, very small. And what happens is the histones, these simply organize the DNA. Okay, they keep everything in place. They keep everything nice and orderly. Um, so that's it right there. We've got a double helix for DNA, runs three to five prime. Uh, and then the anti-parallel strand is made of a few, few different pieces. And then histones are a protein that coil the DNA into chromosomes.